All right, this is uh, the third video in the series of general preparedness. This is going to be the, the loadout for the uh, overnight trip. I got stuff laid out here so it's really easy to see. A um, few things before you even load your gear up that you're going to want to do is number one, uh, always check the weather before you're going to go. Uh, myself and uh, another guy from Bushcraft Forums, uh, Home Slice. We were uh, going to come out on Tuesday, but the weather came in and we decided not to because uh, there was tornadoes that came through this area, and I'm glad we didn't. Even though it's a nice area that we have, probably pretty safe, but still better safe than sorry. So weather is always a consideration you want to check before you go. You want to tell people where you're going to be, when you're going to be there, and when you're going to come back. Um, and that always helps, too, if you scout the area before you come out. If it's a, a state park or something like that that has just regular campsites, you know, and you're not going to the back country or anything, um, it's really not that big a deal. But if you're coming to an area that's out in the, uh, that's away from people and off of trails and stuff like that, you might want to uh, come out and scout out an area, which we have done already and checked it out. Uh, with that said, <clears throat> all this stuff that I have here in front of me uh, fits in an Alice pack very easily. Um, I do have extra stuff that I brought too, but this is, for me, this is kind of a bare essentials loadout kit. Uh, to start with, we'll start out with our personal protection. Uh, everything is sitting on top of a 10 by 10 uh, happens to be a Bushcraft USA tarp. Sweet tarp. I'm going to set it up later. I'll uh, show you how to do it. We're going to talk about the campsite later also. But to start with, I have a tarp. I like sleeping in a tarp. I, I like uh, the way it feels, the air on your face and such like that. It's better than a tent for me. I also brought a jungle hammock. If the bugs are real bad, I'm going to sleep in the jungle hammock. So far, they're not. Uh, I have a uh, rain jacket. I didn't bring the pants because uh, pants are a luxury, I think, rain pants are. But if you want to bring them, that's fine. I have several pairs of them, too, but I don't always wear them. Extra socks is a must. I also bought a real lightweight fleece jacket or a shirt to go over it. Sleeping bag. This is just a Kelty, uh, like, 35-degree bag. Great lightweight bag. Uh, 550 cord. I brought a little bit of 550 cord. I have some in my pockets also. Um, that's pretty much a loadout right there for your personal protection side. Uh, for firecraft and... Uh, kind of hygiene area down here. And I brought a little neck knife this time and I'm going to talk about this a little bit more too. That one's made by Iz Turley. A real nice knife. Um, flashlight is key. This is a zebra. This I actually traded for from Home Slice. It's a great light. I love it. It's my new favorite. Uh, fast lane and cotton balls, matches, and a metal match for my fire. I have two different ways to start fire plus uh, other natural ways. Insect repellent. If you come out to Iowa uh, without insect repellent, you're nuts. You always got to have it. Toilet paper, cravat, right, and a hat to keep the sun off your head. Um, if all that fails and you end up getting hurt or getting screwed up, uh, first aid kit, a good first aid kit. Now notice, you know, this is a little bit bigger than that first aid kit that they had for the first night. We're just going out for a day hike or whatever. Um, it really, I, I think you got to beef it up a little bit, and I can go over that if somebody wants to see it, but it's just a, just a basic first aid kit. I also brought a poncho, and that's pretty much to cover up my gear if it, I can't fit it under my tarp, or if I'm walking and hiking and it starts raining, I can throw it over my pack and keep stuff dry. I'm in the sustenance area over here. Uh, some food, i got some bannock, some rice, some MRE stuff, just real basic stuff. We have a lake real close to us. We're going to be going fishing, too. i got a water filter, a water bottle uh, for cooking, a zebra pot, and... Uh, stainless steel cup that nests. We've talked about that before. Right? And I just got a new titanium spork because I think it's pretty cool. Um, all this here is a real light loadout, a real basic stuff. I do have other stuff, but as a minimum, this is what I would bring out with me. And all in all, uh, probably weighs about I don't know, 25 pounds or so. And I can load it out in an Alice pack real easy. So that's real basic.